Hey everybody, so I just got back from playing a couple of Pro Tour events and I got my first cash at a Pro Tour event ever and that is super exciting for me and a huge, huge boost of confidence that I absolutely needed. Uh, I'm going to just kind of go over what it was like uh, playing these tournaments, being out there, you know, just kind of give you an idea what it's like uh, out on the road. So the first tournament I played in, I w actually went over to Music City Open. I did not place well at all. I was 106th, um, you know, feels like last place, uh, really for me, I performed very, very, very poorly out there. The conditions were difficult, very windy, very cold. And I struggled to play in these conditions. Not only that, but my mental game really wasn't there. So it kind of started off with the very, very first hole of the tournament. I was parked. I was like five feet. Uh, from the basket and I threw my putt it hit the bottom of the basket and I ended up having to take a par and it was tough missing a, a five foot putt you know and it destroyed my putting confidence I couldn't putt for the rest of the round my throwing was okay the first round but my putting was horrific and then I just feel like my game just kept falling apart each day like it just kept getting worse and worse uh, throughout the tournament, which was which was really tough for me, you know, uh, mentally and stuff. The the course itself was beautiful, very fun to play. I loved the course. There were a couple of design choices I uh, disagreed with, but for the most part, I will say I really enjoyed the course and the design of it. It was it was fun to play. It really was. Um, I really enjoyed it. Awesome people, awesome tournament directors. Everybody super friendly. I had a great time out there uh other than the fact that i played poorly you know i did have some good cards that i played on uh with some fun people uh but you know if you look at uh let's see here uh my putting round three 25 percent circle one uh not good first round it says i had 73 percent circle one putting which that can't be right. That has to be wrong. It felt like 12%. I mean, I feel like I missed every putt that I had. I had tons of birdie looks and couldn't hit a putt. And it was just, it was bad. Uh, tons of OBs, five OBs on my last round. It was, it was a rough, it was a rough time out there. I'm not going to lie. I, I did not, not have a good, a good round or any on any of the rounds, but, uh, this tournament was tough for me and kind of a weird turning point um, because I played so poorly. I don't know if it's because of my first tournament back in a long time. I, the past couple of years, I've been working with COVID in the hospital, working like six days a week. I've had zero time to practice, but, uh, you know, I hate using that as an excuse, but uh, it, it made it hard for me to come back and play, you know, at the level that I know that I can play at. So... This being the first big tournament back, I just, nothing felt right. My putt didn't feel good. My throw didn't feel good. And um, it was very, very disappointing. And like, I don't know, I, it was so bad that I like questioned like what I was doing uh, with this whole, like trying to be a pro disc golfer thing and competing with the best in the world. I'm like, you know, can I, can I really do this? Like, is this really something that I can achieve? And I was really doubting my skills and abilities, uh, to perform at these tournaments. And I really, you know, I was telling my wife, I was like, I, I want to quit. You know, I like, I just, I don't know that I can do this. It was tough. You know, I just, <clears throat> it was tough. You know, I, I really had a point of like wanting to quit. I, I really did give up mentally. I said, I'm done. I can't do this. You know, it was tough. And, but luckily, you know, after I kind of cooled off from, you know, that, that tough defeat, uh, on my way to, um, Tallahassee, well, speaking of going to Tallahassee, I actually, because of my poor performance at this tournament, I was going to cancel going to Tallahassee and cancel some other tournaments. And I was just like, you know, should I just like take some time at home, maybe do some practicing, get my head straight? You know, what, what do I need to do? Like, 
to keep doing this or whatever. But I told myself, I was like, hey, you can do this, focus, practice, do whatever you have to do to make this work. You know what I mean? And I just have to like really motivate myself, be like, hey, you can really do this. Like just push yourself. You know, you can do anything you put your mind to as long as you try hard enough. And I truly do believe that. So right after we left uh, Nashville, Music City Open, I immediately was studying studying film. I was looking on, on YouTube, looking at, you know, throwing form, slow motions. I was looking at putting, just anything, just to get some ideas of like, what can I do, go out in the field, practice, try to get the feel back. Because I just felt so inconsistent with my throw and my putting. I had to figure out what was missing. What's the pieces that are missing? And I spent so much time studying form and videos, went out to the field, tried a few things, and then it was like a light bulb went off. Like everything was like, oh, this is what I'm missing. This is the piece. So I figured out the piece that was missing for my putting, and I figured out the piece that was missing for my throwing. And it it was awesome. It, it was great. It's like this huge, gigantic light bulb moment. And when I got to Tallahassee, and started practicing, everything felt great. And I was like, wow, I'm I'm gonna play well. I'm gonna do well. Like I just, I felt it. I knew that I was gonna do better uh, than what I had been doing previously. So let's go ahead and look at, uh, at Tallahassee. I ended up tying for 36th place, first pro tour cash, huge, huge burst, boost of confidence for me. Like I, I really, really needed that after this last tournament and um, this kind of helped me confirm like, hey, you really can do this. Just keep pushing, keep working hard. You're going to get there. And um, I'm really proud of it. Like I ended up, you know, my last round, it doesn't look great, but I had 100% circle one putting. I hit me some circle two putts as well. Uh, had a couple OBs. I had some rough holes uh, that I didn't struggle with on the first two rounds, but I just had a couple of bad lies. But I was able to still fight back, in, back to one over, which I was super proud of. You know, after having those rough holes, to still have like the mental fortitude to keep pushing, be like, "Hey, you can come back from this. Just keep, keep doing your thing, play your game." And I came back, and I'm really proud of that round. That's the round I think I'm the most proud of. Uh, had had what six birdies on it. It's, it's pretty solid, even though I had three doubles, but uh, that's okay. Um, my other two rounds, I played mostly pretty clean, had a couple of rough spots, 100% scramble on both rounds. So the tough positions that I was in, I was able to get out of. Uh, I, I just feel like I was playing really well. Um, I did leave a lot of strokes out there, and I did have a couple of uh, spit outs. I'm talking a five-foot putt, dead center chains that hits the pole and bounces out, you know, thing like that. Then I had one where I threw my putt a little high, hit the band, and it rolled down a hill and went 50 feet behind me. So it added two strokes to my score rather than just adding one for the miss. So I uh, had a little bit of bad luck on a couple of couple of spots. But for the most part, like, I feel really good about how I played. But I do know I left a lot of strokes out there. I really honestly feel that I could have gotten a top 10 here uh, with the way that I was playing. Uh, just a couple of miscues that really cost me a lot of strokes. Um but I really, after playing this tournament, it was such a huge boost of confidence for me that I really truly believe that in the future that I am going to perform well and that I, I really can do this. Uh, so I'm just going to keep working as hard as I can, uh, keep training, keep studying, you know, trying to be the best that I can. And I'm, I'm going to be successful. I truly believe that I will be successful. I just have to push and keep trying and never give up, um, you know, on myself and on this. But uh, it, I had a great time. Tallahassee was an amazing tournament. If you have a chance to go down and play this course, go play it. It is beautiful and uh, very well. This is probably the best designed course I've ever seen for a tournament. There wasn't a single unfair hole at this tournament. I truly believe that every hole was fair. The OB was fair. Um, it, it had tough lines with fair. The fairways were fair. The greens were fair. Like it, it just felt good. It was a, it was fun to play. Every course should feel like this course when you are competing. You should have difficult lines to hit, but you need to be rewarded for hitting those difficult lines. And I truly believe that the course designer 
really hit the nail right on the head with this design. I will be back to this tournament every single year. It is an amazing course um, and a lot of fun. I had a great time. I got to practice with a couple of locals. Shout out to Max and Lucas for helping me, uh, you know, know some of the local routes and like where you should be on the fairway and stuff. Uh, kind of helped my game a little bit. So I appreciate that. And they were super awesome to play with. Um, ha had some good cards uh, that I played with as well. All the people that I played with at this tournament. Uh, I had a great time. I really did. I really enjoyed my time out there. So I will be back to this tournament again. If you have a chance, go to this tournament. It's amazing. Um, but other than that, it's nice to be back home. Being out on the road is fun and amazing. There's a lot of good things to it. But it's also nice to be home for a minute, get to hang out with my friends, play some video games with them, go to the gym here, you know, with my gym buddy. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's good, but, uh, being on the road is fun too. We're going to be back out on the road here again. I'm about to head over to Jonesboro to try to qualify for that tournament. I have to get uh, top four to get into the tournament. Um, they have a Tuesday qualifier, which I don't know of any other tournaments that do this other than USDGC with their Monday qualifier. And I wish every major, Every major disc golf pro tour tournament did this. I feel like they should do a Monday or Tuesday qualifier uh, for people that want to try to get into the tournament. It's a really cool, a uh, cool thing. So I'm excited to go do this and hopefully get into the tournament that way. If not, I have another tournament uh, locally here that I'm going to go to. Um, but I'm hoping to, you know, just keep pushing and performing well and doing well. And uh, thank you guys for like joining me on this journey. Um, you know, some people have sent me messages that have been, you know, very encouraging to me, uh, you know, to keep making these videos and, you know, to keep pushing here on tour and, um, I hope to bring you guys some more good coaching tips and also some more stuff from my adventures on the road and what it's like, you know, trying to become a professional athlete. I'm sorry. I haven't uploaded as much as I wanted to. It's just been kind of difficult, <clears throat> you know, with like spending as much time as I do practicing and training and then trying to also, you know, spend time making videos. So I'm going to try to do what I can to put some more content out there. But uh, yeah, so um, hopefully things look up for me in the future. I will be going to the West Coast. I'm going to play Goat Hill, um, hopefully Santa Cruz, and then OTB Open, possibly Portland Open. Not sure. We'll see. It depends on if I get on the wait list or not. Uh, but we're going to see what happens. And we're going to have a good time. My rating should hopefully keep going up. I went from 942 to 957. My rating is garbage uh, just because I you know, played a lot of tournaments and wasn't good. But at this point, we're going to try to get to 1,000 rated as quickly as we can so that we can make it easier into these bigger tournaments. But uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Uh, thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel and these videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next video.